What's up guys? So my first stop at the Own Water, I ran into a long time friend of mine and I'm talking like so long time that this guy was one of the first guys that I got into kayak fishing with. Back then he was driving a little small pickup truck, taking people on guided kayak fishing trips. He's since launched a very successful boat company. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about a new watercraft. Actually, I think it's a new category of watercraft. So I'm going to get on the other side of the camera, and I'm going to let this dude tell you about it. His name's Kevin Finn. The company is Scanu, and this is the boat. Hey, guys. What's going on? My name's Kevin Finn. I'm one of the owners of Scanu. A um, little history about us. I'll try to speed it up real quick. Is uh, We started paddle fishing in the early 90s with Chad, and then in the uh, early 2000 area, we started a skiff company. And we wanted to do a throwback because we noticed the trend for the last six, seven years. Everybody wants to stand up in a kayak. Everybody wants to fish. But here's the problem. If you fish saltwater, if you sight fish, if you love to pull, you can't do that in a true four inches of water and you can't do it quietly. Because even if you paddle in four inches of water, you have to scoot your butt and get going. And that's not efficient. So skiff meets canoe. So we have a front deck, a rear deck. We have uh side scuppers by the way we have multiple patents on the product and we also have the vessel protection act um it's been a rough year for us to start because of covid like everybody else in america um and the world and, and the, world. the world and everything else so i want to explain this uh msrp 2400 rated up to two people it is rated for a 2.5 horsepower um and again it's coast guard approved we got a we got an exemption because they didn't know what to call it. They didn't know if it was a skiff, if it was a kayak, if it was a canoe. So It's a canoe. It's a canoe. <laughs> so here we go. We got molded in rails so you can put on in our well, friends. Kevin, let's do this. Let's yeah. start all the way at the front and let's just do like a full walkthrough if you don't mind. No, I'm down with that. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. So starting with the bow, we have a molded area in for a bow eye if you want to put it on a trailer, like a traditional skiff. Um, it has an actual bow that you can mount a trolling motor. And about seven years ago, we were showing bow mounts on our prototype version. So we knew that guys that have a skiff that want something smaller, they could take it off their boat, put it on here, and keep rolling. Then you have a trunk, a front well, for storage. Then you have molded rod holders. So if you fly fish, you can hold all the way up to a 12 weight. Now if this had a butt set there, conventional rods, you can put three rods per side. There's nothing to stack fly light on. You have a front deck. You stand here if you want to run the trolling motor, if you want to use a stand-up paddleboard. You sit here, and these are molded in footwells. And by the way, these are only a half inch high. There's nothing to snag fly line on. It doesn't hurt your feet if you're barefooted. You have storage on either side for a Plano box. Then you have a deck in the back that you could store all kind of items in and stand on. Now here's where we change versus everybody else. I stand here by myself or Chad. You're a big boy, but you lost a lot of weight. You look good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the nose of the boat is below the water line, like a traditional skip. So I could stand here and I pull in four inches of water, or I stand here and I run the eye pilot, and I have all in my room like a skiff. And down at the water, he could follow me. I could jump on it real quick and I'll show you guys how this thing works. But if you cast You know blocks, what? Let's do that. That's the best way to do it. We're at on water. Let's get on the water. So guys, we're just gonna roll this thing real time. I'm probably not even gonna edit this. We're just gonna take it to the water and uh, see what it's all about. I was hoping he would say that. So we have a duck hunting color. All right, so demonstrate what you're talking about, Kevin, by hopping back on the back and showing that the, okay, so that the boat. If I wanted to use a stand up paddle board, I want to use a hand control troller motor, I'd stand here, okay? If I want to paddle like a traditional kayak, I sit here, put my foot wells in it like this. Chad knows I know how to paddle. He definitely knows how to paddle. If I want to pull the flats, I walk to the back. Now back here, this lake is really, really deep. But if we were on the flats and I was pulling, Chad knows in four inches of water, I'm gonna beat and pass anybody. And I do it quietly. Skidoo. Skiff meets canoe. Rated up to two people, two and a half horsepower. Now when you say two people, does that translate to an actual weight? Do you have a weight? 
Yeah, you can go up to 480 pounds. 480 pounds. Um, it's typical. Okay. With gear. But at the end of the day, I know I'm in a pond. If I had a little trolling motor on this thing, this thing would rip. If I'm on the flats, this thing. So it's a boat that will hold two people, but it does really manage well with one. Yes. Love it. Cool. But anyways. All right. Well, tell them where they can find out more information, brother. Skadoo.com, and this is the first model. Uh, this is the 12.4. This is our hybrid. This is like a blender of everything. Y'all take care. Chad, thank you so much, brother. It's Appreciate good to see you. you.